Okay, we know that this radio is now working. And I'm going to turn down the volume here. Let's see. Okay. But let's say that we didn't know it's working. I've done this before with a, another radio. This is set to about oh, 90 on the AM dial. And turn this up. This oscillator is interfering now with this radio. And the only noise that we're going to hear is coming from this radio. So let's tune through the band. So you can hear what this sounds like. Definite interference. So that proves that this oscillator is working. And of course we know that. So I want to do something a little different here. Using another radio to determine if the oscillator is working is a handy thing to know. This is the wiring diagram of the radio that's on the workbench. And I want to show you another test that we can do if the oscillator is not working. Now since it is working in this radio, I'm going to pull out the tube, the oscillator tube, the 6BE6. Now on a another radio where the oscillator isn't working there's no need to pull out the tube. What I'm going to do is I'm going to inject a signal right here, an RF signal, and I'm going to use the bottom one. It's the same electrical place. It's just a wire from pin one of the oscillator tube to pin one of the mixer tube. Now the reason why I'm using the bottom one is it's easy to get to. And here's the setup. I'm going to use a signal generator through two capacitors, one on each lead that ensures that my signal generator is 100% isolated from the radio. Here I've pulled out the oscillator tube. Here is the connection to chassis ground and here is the connection to pin one of the oscillator. This is the generator I'm going to use. Okay. I've got another oscillator hooked up to pin one. And now I'm going to turn the dial. Football defensive back Anthony Lennon, the 20. It's in between two cars. I don't know what two cars it was. They were playing and then they were like about 10 feet past. And this audio generator is on times 10K. 18 season. Things update. I'm Dane Barrett. Now the Supreme Court is partially okay. The okay. That proves that all the IFs are good. What did the and the detectors. And the audio amplifier. In October, and until the case goes before the justices, they will allow him to implement this policy. And the icing on the cake would, of course, be if after they hear arguments in the fall that they find this policy constitutional. But it's not the full victory for the. This setup works really well, and since we were able to tune in some stations, that proves that the IFs are good, 
and of course the detector is good and the audio amplifier. Now if you happen to be working on this radio, I would insert a signal right here at the mixer. There's one more thing that I want to show besides tuning in stations. Yes, it is. It's Echo's Morning News. Welcome into Tuesday, everybody. One week from July 4th. Beautiful day today as we're going to be in the low 80s. We're 68 right now. Here's Brian LeBlanc. PTF traffic to start things. Uh, the volume or the amplitude of the oscillator is important. Thanks for watching.